prepare necessary ledger accounts from the following. Provision for discount on creditors on 1st January was 5,000. Discount received during year 1 is 3,000. And creditors as on 31st December year 1 is 1,50,000. So this much information for year 1. Discount received during year 2,500. Credit, sundry creditors as on 31st December is 50,000. And provision, they have a policy of making a provision for discount on creditors at the rate of 5%. So show also the profit and loss account and balance sheet. What would have happened here? What, how is the provision created? Or let us see, if you take the provision for discount on creditors in the first year, what do you have? Provision for discount on creditors has a balance. It has a debit balance. Balance brought down of 5,000. Discount received during the year is 3,000. Entry for discount received is the we pay creditors, creditors account debit to discount to bank. So creditor discount received is an income. We debit that and transfer that to the provision for discount on creditors, which is an amount of 3,000. What is the closing balance supposed to be since creditors are 1,50,000? Provision is to be made at the rate of 5%. So 5% on 1,50,000 gives us 7,500 should be the closing balance. So balance carried down would be 7,500. Therefore, we get 10,500 and this difference is what is taken to profit and loss account. How much is the difference? Should be 5,500. Provision for discount on creditors is debited and profit and loss account is credited. So we are taking an income, a credit into the profit and loss account by 5,500 in the first year. Next year again balance brought down is 7,500. Discount received is 1,500. Let's transfer the discount of 1,500. Sundry creditors but have come down. It's only 50,000. 5% of 50,000 is the closing balance which needs to be maintained. How much would that be? That would be 2,500 would be the balance carried down. 2,500. But we have 7,500. We have adjusted only 1,500. Therefore, we have a balance of 6,000 in the provision account, but we need only 2,500. Therefore, the balance is again adjusted against the profit and loss account. In this case, <coughs> it is written back. That means profit and loss account is now debited for excess provision on discount created. <coughs> Let us look at a neater presentation of this whole thing. Discount received account by sundry creditors. By sundry creditors in the first year we had 1500 and this was transferred to the provision account. We transfer to the provision account. This is the link. This had an opening balance of 5,000. We adjusted discount of 3,000. So there was a remaining balance of 2,000. We needed to carry a balance of 7,500. So we created a provision of 5,500. How do you create a provision for discount on creditors? By crediting the profit and loss account. Provision for discount on creditors is debited. Next year, we brought forward this balance of 7,500. Discount was 1,500. We adjust that. So we are now left with a balance of 6,000. Out of the 6,000, we need a closing balance of only 2,500, 5% of 5 lakh. So a balance of 3,500 has to be written back to the profit and loss account 
that is profit and loss account debit to provision for discount on creditors excess discount be provided for i repeat a creation for provision for discount on creditors is hardly maintained in practice since it violates the concept of conservatism final accounts for the same problem 5500 credited to the profit and loss account in year 1 and in year 2 the amount so here also 7500 provision required 2500 discount received here in this case has been shown on the credit side and 5000 has been written back rather profit and loss account has been debited net effect is 3500 on the debit side of profit and loss account In the balance sheet, creditors, less provision for discount on creditors in year 1. So also in year 2, 50,000 less 2,500 being the closing balance, 47,500.